everybody. All right, I wanted to show you the uh, forge that I made up so I can make uh, some Damascus, hopefully. Uh, a little shop cart, Harbor Freight. You should get most of my stuff there. Pretty cheap. It's on sale for know, 30 bucks or so. Uh, it's an 11-pound propane cylinder. Uh, it's got hinges there and a, a lock. I had an issue the first time I lit it that the lid wanted to pop up. Um, right now, I got some kitty litter down on the bottom to protect the bottom from the flux, but I have uh, one layer of kaol one inch around it three layers of uh sanite and then one thin layer so far one of uh, itc 100 um works pretty good it's supposed to give me about a 30 percent efficiency rate or extra with my forge uh this is just some square stock i got from alro steel and it's adjustable height wise um extension and, and goes back in as well so I can work on uh, longer stock. Uh, just a simple setup here with the uh, one and a half inch running into the side of it. And um, I didn't like using galvanized fittings, but I've ran it for about an hour already, and the uh, the fittings don't heat up at all. So um, got my quick release here for emergency. Uh, basically, just ran a small tube inside with a, uh, one sixteenth, I think or even smaller, 32nd or 64th hole drilled into the cap that's on this, welded that in. And uh, got the propane under there, everything's kind of compact right now. I gotta put a weight in the bottom, I don't like how it wants to wobble around a little bit. Um, but uh, the fan here, I went the cheap version, this is just a uh, 70 CFM bathroom fan. Um, just connected temporarily with some duct tape, just to see how it worked, but I did mount it on the side here. So it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I have to run it full open. It might not have enough pressure really to push uh, the air how I want it. So I might eventually have to upgrade it. But right now it's uh, entirely uh, just fits everything inside of it. And I can just kind of cart it around how I want, move around the shop. Uh, I did another video with my shop press and I put wheels on that as well. So both my forge and my shop press are totally mobile. So, uh, I don't know if you got any questions, I guess, uh, drop me a line. If not, uh, might make another one a little later to, um, when it's running. So, thanks for watching.